hope everybody is having a wonderful holiday season. I'm just going to get right into it. So for the month of November, we did the digital recording principle, which was an introduction to Pro Tools and the principles for digital recording. It starts off with a career development survey. It starts off with the welcome address from the instructor. He introduces himself, tells us about the class. From there, I went on. Um, the syllabus just gives you an idea of what you will be learning and what you will be able to do by the time you're done. These are very, very vital, important uh, information and terminology that one must learn to be prolific in this field. Then they have the additional help, which is a way of contacting a one on one, uh, having a one on one session with your instructor. Class started. This was due on the November 5th or the 5th of November and it was about the Pro Tools software and plugin installation project so you just install it and you submit a, a screenshot of your installation folder and all that. Once that was done I went on to the stages of a recording session. Chapter 9 studio session procedures I had to go through it. Um, and basically it was a discussion so after reading the book you answer these questions are there any stages that can be skipped are there any stages you should add to the process which stage most interests you and why is there a stage you would prefer to skip if so why after reading the four questions at the end of the chapter write an additional question to ask an artist or a band before the start of a project and then you add a reply. There's your rubrics. So you can get an idea of how what they're looking for. I completed that. This was my post and my responses. You know, I'm fond of um using a text to speech app on, on the MacBook. So I'm just like sitting back and just reasoning and saying whatever I want and it always turns out to be, as you can see, multiple paragraphs. It, it wasn't boring. It was it was challenging. It was interesting. It wasn't more of recording. It was more reading material. And we did a couple of uh, projects, but setting up a vocal template. This I, I did um, while I was on a vacation. I had my laptop with me. I was still able to work and do my schoolwork, which was pretty cool. Then we went on to 1.7, which is the arrangement project you know, and their project walkthrough videos to help you get a, a gist of what you're doing which makes it really easy so that was week one um, week two was about editing acoustics and microphones literally the same process as the first one it's just this one didn't have discussions there was uh, an assignment and a project an editing project and the mic activity, which was a project, and these reading material. And what they did was they give you all these mics, and you're supposed to do some research about these mics and answer these questions. Submit your PDF um, research information. Really simple stuff. Point six was introduction to acoustics assignment, and there was a reading material. You read that, and then you answer the questions. After that assignment, you had the editing project. I'm going to duplicate a playlist, press Command U, it will bring up the strip silence window. Now this is a technique I didn't even know how to use in Pro Tools, so this was really cool for editing. See, so he stripped out all the silence. Makes editing really easy. Okay, so yeah, we go through, he did arrange everything. So basically he does the assignment for you, I mean, more or less. And, you know, just in case you're not good at reading huh? or something, I don't know. I mean, I guess they just want to make sure you, you know what you're doing. Reasonably easy. Week three was microphones and comping. I thought comping was 
compressing but actually it wasn't compressing it was more or less still an editing thing where you do multiple takes and you kind of compact them together and find the best parts in the multiple takes and comp them into one track there's a discussion about so many mics to choose from and which mics you own and which one is the best and which one you think is you know the whole nine about microphones I own four microphones so I had a lot to say you know and this was my post yeah I mean I, I totally killed it I mean you know you can see and th that's all they want some some you know engaging um, dialogue then we went to my uh, activity B which was a continuation of the previous week's mic activity and then we went to the project which was a comping project and with this one you're gonna comp the vocals of track line up all the takes and um, choose the best part in the takes that you want and then set up a comp track that has the best parts of the take that you like see that's the comping right there so we got the main line the main track hit the arrow up here boom and then it goes up there pretty simple now this is something I didn't know how to use I've used Pro Tools for a while I've done a couple of tutorial videos watching all that and I was not aware of this thing you know so instead of recording on multiple tracks you, you record on one track you have your playlist of all the takes and you can just listen to the best takes the, that the vocalist did and cut out all those parts select and then just comp it as one so we're done with week three we had a week four which was signal flow fine hooks and consoles so this was more about mixing consoles and stuff we had to set up a signal flow chart using draw io so they gave us these images and you're gonna like design your connections you know for your signal flow just so they know you you understand what a signal flow is all about introduction to consoles assignment and we went on to the flying hooks project so basically the whole month of November was not about creating your own stuff or anything it was more about information on how to do stuff with Pro Tools very vital crucial um, techniques that you know would enable you to be able to use Pro Tools in a proficient manner well look at this guy he looks like Vin Diesel or Vin Diesel's kid brother or something <laughs> I think this was a, a time trial, a screen recording with QuickTime of yourself performing certain tasks. Those tasks are supposed to be done in under six minutes. So that's all you have it for um, the month of November. Back to content. So there you have it. Um, I hope this has given you a clear insight as to the advancement I am experiencing right now and I actually do feel very much knowledgeable right now regardless of the fact that I did have some kind of knowledge this has woken me up to the professional side of music production in the digital realm I mean yeah people keep asking do you need a degree uh, well you don't necessarily need a degree it all depends on what your goals are and what you want to do with your musical career so i want to say another big thank you to everybody who's supporting this channel the likes help the youtube algorithm and it's gonna let other people see the video it's gonna show up in other people's feeds because of your comments and your likes so please do comment and say what you you have on your mind regarding this and what you think about the los angeles film school is it a worthy thing because you will be paying up to fifty thousand dollars or more 
for a degree, a bachelor's degree, and about thirty-five to forty thousand for an associate's degree. To what I can achieve, I'm tired as a rivet. There is no reprieve, no retreat, no surrender. I'm your number one, number one contender.